Vince Carter erupting for 50 points and giving the Raptors a 2-1 edge in this best of seven set. In game two, Allen Iverson had 54 points to tie the series at one game apiece in Philadelphia. Anything you can do, I can do better. Often young players experience pandemic swings in their game right now over the last five games. So, in his place, the sixth man of the year, Aaron McKee, who's not exactly the most healthy fella. McKee bothered by some really... They've already lost, for the most part, Eric Snow. Matt Geiger's situation is very questionable. The exact opposite, and that has led to the explosion of Vince Carter on the back cut. Two times now, Philadelphia's overplaying defense has been exposed. And Giles with a perfect pass. That's the thing that bothered Larry Brown. Transition defense matching up with Iverson. Iverson for three. Allen Iverson knocks it down. He's shooting 43% from that distance in this series. One of the real keys is uh, seen in this series has been nothing short of remarkable. Uh, the foul goes against Carter, his first. His incredible drive to win, to succeed. A deadly spot-up shooter from 18 feet. Iverson knocks it down. Allen Iverson. Of all three games, Carter blocked from behind by Lynch. Gets it again. Finds Oakley. And a 24-second violation. Carter thought he was fouled. Looked like Lynch made a good play. Kyle Zachary gets the rebound, and Carter denied by the tempo. Boy, and he hung on the rim. Let's see what the call is. Steve Javi telling Lenny Wilkins get back to the bench. It's what happened is he touched the rim while the ball was above the cylinder. Iverson for three. Puts it in. Allen Iverson knocks down the three. But Philadelphia's defense, one of the best in the league, is superior to where we're going. Now the Williams puts it in. All that stuff's going to be ignored. Oh, rejected. Williams. Carter, reverse. Oh, beautiful move for Vince Carter. And he points to Jerome Williams, who made it possible. Spectacular. The grace, the beauty, the body control, the decision-making. Snow on him that time, double team. Defonder again, and draws the foul. Different looks every single time. Vince Carter to put the ball on the floor the way Larry Brown talked that he wanted to do. That has allowed Matumbo and Iverson virtually every possession. He's got the ball on the move. They haven't had a chance to double team in. Carter's numbers. Carter not only had the 50 points. Chris Child, good, good help defense that time. Iverson, oh. the floater. Down the jumpers in game three. Iverson, tough shot. And he draws the foul. Iverson or Vince Carter has such in incredible creativity. This leaves the defender, a single defender. This, this duo, the uh, Iverson and Carter. Iverson trying to grab it. Last touch by him. Four more Vince Carter up straight away. The time about Allen Iverson on the run. Oh, great players are going to have huge nights. And uh, Iverson appears to be on his way to another one. Eric Snow now on Carter. Tough shot. Won't go. Carter to the left hand. From Toronto. Philadelphia getting what they want at this point. Allen Iverson on the move. And that will end the first. Allen Iverson with the 13 points. Carter, a little bit of a slower start, but eight points and the three rebounds. This round, one of these guys is no longer going to be with us. But still to be determined. But the Kevin Matumbo, eight rebounds already. Iverson tried to draw the foul, and he does. Carter bumped him, and Vince Carter now has two fouls. Driving all the way up. The Raptor team was just retreating as one, all the way backing up, backing up, backing up. He believes the Raptors can surprise the Sixers and reach the NBA Finals. Allen Iverson trying to plead with, with Javi on the latest sequence, but that tactical foul went against the head coach, Larry Brown. But it's the edge that they're playing with today. Carter gets inside. And just like that, against Patumbo, now Williams can make some shots. Good thing for swing Toronto's way. Oh, Iverson, the key defensively. Iverson with the steal, and then gets free down the other end. Uh, Hard foul on Childs, and one. Great and a technical foul on Childs.
what's going on here, Bill, with all these technicals? A breakdown by Childs. When Allen Iverson is out in front, when anybody's out in front that far, unless you're Michael Cooper from the old Los Angeles Lakers, you basically have to let him go. What these players make uh, often cost their team dearly. Iverson, what, he starting to become a factor for Philly, grabs the rebound. Iverson lost the dribble, tries to save it, does. That's a prerequisite for Brown. Carter inside, can't finish Oakley the rebound, but a loose ball foul call. Iverson on the move again. Oakley the block from behind. 26. Carter and McKee. Carter has 10 of the 26 and puts it in. It's Carter gets him on their feet again. Vince Carter, three defenders lunging at him. His ability to create mentally forces Larry Brown to take a timeout here with the defensive rotation Larry Brown has. Although overall the defense excellent yeah. for Philly, that basket. Giving Ali the shot, Iverson and a three-second violation before the shot. Carter, single coverage, here comes the double now, and Carter foul. They're going to call it a two-shot foul. Dallas down in the win column. How cool was that to see Dirk Nowitzki get off? Played some excellent basketball, especially on the defensive end. Iverson puts it in. He's got 23 here in the first half, which equals his amount that he had in game three. Iverson's decision making. McCullough has done a terrific job as a backup center. Carter, there the foul. That foul twice, first from Lynch, then from McCullough. The 76ers who have struggled in the first half come up big. Especially with Allen Iverson, 23 points. All right, Andrew, certainly the ball movement wasn't there for Toronto. They only had seven assists the entire first half. But you have to credit the Philly defense, Bill. Lynch inside, blocked by Carter. That's another part of his game from the other night. He had four blocked shots. Team defense. <laughs> That's all you need to know. And a foul on Matumbo. He pushed off Carter, tried to set a screen. We were talking about Vince Carter's all-around game. And a good example right there, the willingness to set screens. Fight for the rebound. Carter right there, rushed it. Carter again, puts it back up, blocked by Matumbo. Davis, and he's fouled on the outlet. George Lynch, <laughs> up with Charles Oakley. He's guarded virtually everyone they have. Carter draws the foul. Alvin Williams, who's having a, a spectacular playoff series, Ten assists in game three is one for five this afternoon. But then you got Antonio Davis. This wasn't looking and had it knocked away from behind. Iverson blocked by Carter. Three on two. Offensive foul on Carter. Jermaine Jones steps in and draws the charge, and that's three fouls on Carter. Child's quickly getting the ball over the, before the converging, collapsing defense. Alvin Williams has some wide open looks that he's converted. And now he's got to slow down Iverson, who has his first basket of the second half after missing his first three attempts. Iverson now 25 total, 10 point game, three minutes to go. His comments. Uh, oh, absolutely. Iverson, meanwhile, with his second foul. Combo again. As a goaltend, the tumble that was looked like clearly on the way down, and Carter throws it into the stands. Uh, very tough to Carter, of course, with eight straight threes in game three, nine overall. He's 0 for 4 from that range. Sounded before, obviously missed a shot, so it was negated. Oh, and Carter comes right back and hits the three. Tyrone Hill comes up short. Uh, Aaron McKee has just been quicker to the ball. Ball knocked out of bounds. The officials, no signal yet, so they'll jump it up. McKee did a good job chipping it away from Carter. Here in Canada, as they try to increase the popularity of basketball, Eric Snow goes by Oakley, blocked by Carter. Hell on the follow. The top on the rebound, and he's fouled. A loose ball foul. <laughs> it's going to go against Vince Carter. Dennis Johnson, Mark Price, Jason Terry, and now Albert Williams. <laughs> oh, and now Allen Iverson knocks it down. 27 for Iverson. And the crowd was starting to get up. The entire place ready for a standing ovation until Iverson silenced him at least momentarily. Get out there and play him as a perimeter guy, not as a post-up guy. Offense Carter's lay. Oh, they're going to give that. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
Allen Iverson in the Sixers have watched Toronto. And these two, of course, have lit it up in the series. 54 for Iverson in game two, 50 for Carter in game three. And they both have played well. He has nine rebounds and five assists. Carter goes right at Hill, and Tyrell Hill with a good defensive play. Oakley. Dangerous pass, Davis inside. Carter on the foul! Oh, Vince Carter back from 16 down to tie it. Iverson answers back with a three. Allen Iverson puts Philly back up. 81-78. The competitive response. The competitive greatness of Allen Iverson and Vince Carter. Here in game four, let's send it to Andrea Joyce to get another update on George Lynch. 82 games during the regular season. Carter fouled, shot will go, but he'll go to the line. This afternoon, which has been rare, they're going to the hoop board. Ten rebounds for Carter. Can they capitalize the transition? Oakley stolen by Iverson. Oakley, bad decision to dribble there as they turn it over. They got to get the ball back after they score here. Carter. Shot won't go. But foul immediately. Foul him. Brings in nothing but shooters, guards, guys who can run it. And the 76ers have even this series. Iverson with 30 points. 23 of those in the first half. 30 points on 30 shots. We just, you know, continue to play hard. You know, that's the makeup of this team. You know, we get down. We keep coming. We keep fighting. We keep fighting. We never stop. Coach got so much, um, just believe in us so much, and we believe in each other.